Hey guys, it's Miss Bradling. I teach kindergarten at PES, and tonight I'm gonna to be reading your bedtime story, and I'm gonna read you the book called We're All Wonders. This book was written and illustrated by R.J. Palazzo, and I chose it because my little boy loves this book. I know I'm not an ordinary kid. Sure, I do ordinary things. I ride a bike, I eat ice cream, I play ball. I just don't look ordinary. I don't look like other kids. My mom says I'm unique. She says I'm a wonder. My dog Daisy agrees. But some people don't see that I'm a wonder. All they see is how different I look. Sometimes they stare at me. They point or laugh. They even say mean things behind my back, but I can hear them. It hurts my feelings. It hurts Daisy's feelings too. When that happens, I put on my helmet. I put Daisy's helmet on too, and then we Blast off, up, 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 up through the clouds. Across the galaxy. All the way to Pluto. We say hello to old friends. From far away, the earth looks so small. I can't see any people, but I know they are there. Billions of people, people of all different colors, people who walk and talk differently, people who look different like me. The earth is big enough for all kinds of people. I know I can't change the way I look, but maybe, just maybe, people can change the way they see. If they do, they'll see that I'm a wonder. And they'll see that they are wonders too. We are all wonders. Look with kindness and you will always find wonder. The end. I hope you guys always remember that you are all a wonder. And I hope you remember to always be kind. Have a great night and enjoy spring break with your family. Bye, guys.